Fire starter. I'm a wildfire. Hit you like a prize fire. Ooh, baby, I'm a wildfire. Straight from the block, no, I cannot be stopped. I'm a wildfire. Hit you with the hot sky. Ooh, baby, I'm a wildfire. Um, I thought of slow warm up. It's so cold out. 21, not for the warm up, but 21, 15, 9, double kettlebell clean and jerk and muscle up into rope climbs and overhead squats. Okay. For the workout? Any ideas? I'll stew on that for a little bit during warm up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> stew on it. Is that not a saying? Stew. No, it is. <laughs> yep. Let's do an assault bike EMOM. Okay. 12, 9. For 10 rounds? Okay. See how that goes? Anything on another minute or just straight through a back or just straight I through I think cow? straight through on the assault bike. All right. Um, but if we want to, and then we can just put together like a separate little warm up piece based on the workout. Sounds good. Sit on the bike good. for 10 minutes and there you go. clean and jerks, 30 ring muscle ups, 30 snatches. The standard. Oh uh, yeah, I haven't done that yet. Neither have I. Let's do it. You wanna no, do that one? I got one. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ready for this. What's the weight? 135, 95. Yeah. It's cold in my house. It's cold outside, it's cold inside. It's cold when I get out of my bed. All I have for you guys is a bunch of wah, wah, wah. Oh. Okay. The tables have turned. Okay. <laughs> At the rate we're going for when winter started, it'll be snowing in May. Your grinding looks like doing the moonwalk. You're not sweating or slobbering it's very like just I am. smooth and kind of gliding. Grinding. I think That's there's another it. gear that you haven't found yet. It's because I'm scared to hurt that bad. <laughs> I, I was there on Sunday. I'm just, just like, baby. okay, I'm ahead of Dan and Pat. Let's just kind of put it in cruise control. You're doing great. Good job, guys. Yeah. Don't worry, one of these days I'm gonna be like, well, we're doing DT, that's it. In the last round, no so running like, in between, <laughs> no extra anything. <laughs> Nothing. Just DT. Nothing for me. And then we're gonna do just Fran. <laughs> and then we're gonna do just Diane. All the ones I hate. We should All actually do, ones. we should do a day of girls. <laughs> what are you, what My are grace saying? time is 101 or one minute point something. My 30 muscle ups for time is like a 138, 141. I've gotten 28 in a row. I haven't gotten quite gotten 30 in a row on muscle ups. And then Isabel, man, it's been a while. I don't know what that one is. It's probably like just under 90 seconds or right around 90 seconds. So by that math, I should be done with this workout in like maybe four minutes, <laughs> clearly. If I was in between 10 and 11 today, 10 and change, I'd be pretty happy for today. I've been struggling hitting like good times in, in the morning. Like the any of the qualifier workouts for Rogue that I did in the morning, I just didn't do as well as I would have like when I redo them in the afternoon or if I do them in the afternoon, I feel like I get better scores, but that's not an excuse. Maybe I just need to drink more good dude's coffee. I have enough, I don't know, flexibility, whatever you want to call it. Like to get it back in my fingertips, it just floats off my chest. Like 75 isn't enough to Mash my little gator arms down. Is that, is that standard? Yeah. That's standard for that. <laughs> much, much higher than you'd just be doing overhead squats. Well. <laughs> out just really slow and conservative and like your last 10 try to do just unbroken I had a feeling that's what, see what happens I think I got a set of three quick set of two another or, uh, two singles two or three singles then another set of three yeah and then two, like one or two singles what'd you hit on your muscle ups 
10, 5, 5, 5, 5. No. I had to make one or two adjustments to my barbell. I should have put two clips on. Uh, like yeah. the plates were sliding off, yeah, and like they're coming like way off. Yeah. I should. I didn't put them. I should have put them on that way. Yeah. Singles. Oh no! I said I was gonna do the first five. Touch oh, and go. I didn't hear that. I was just like. Yeah, I heard it. I heard all singles, and I just hear touch, touch, touch. I was glad that I did. We were right did that together. though because I think I finished 30 in like right around two minutes. So I'm like, okay, I'm ahead of oh, yeah. two and change. So like like every like seconds. finishing each one in three minutes would have put it right at nine minutes, right? Yeah. So. I was like, oh, all right, I got like the buffer here. Yeah. See if I can get it under nice, nine. Yeah. I thought for sure that was gonna be the first open workout this I year. I would've been cool. Pat wanted to do the other day, GHGs and Tota Bar, so we did five rounds of 10 and 10. And then I think the plan is every time you do it, add a rep for five rounds until, I don't know, I don't know when you stop. Um, one of the first times I did something like this was actually from Darren Hunsucker. Uh, the most winning coach, most winning CrossFit coach in the history of CrossFit Games. I think it was like seven and seven, or it might have been ten and ten, on the minute, for as long as you could go, and trying to improve that score. And so I think I had gotten to, I don't know, six or seven minutes is probably the most I've ever done that at for ten and ten GHGs and Tota Bar. So this is just kind of a little bit of a different way of doing it, trying to keep it right around five minutes or so, uh, maybe a little bit over as you kind of add reps, but just to build midline. Uh, stamina basically do it once a week uh, Once a week just this one once a week, but I mean GHD is more than once a week probably every two to three days right now uh, So working on some static lifts uh, some isometric training that is kind of like the forgotten lift. Um, Bill Starr was a big fan of it. He always included it in the end of his strength training sessions where you would pull or push against an immovable object basically. So you're holding a maximum contraction for between 15, 30 seconds depending on the weight without actually moving through any range of motion. And so what happens there is you're getting, you'll start to recruit more motor units to help fire your muscle. So on top of potentially the muscle growing and overloading the system, uh, you'll get more motor units and more things that will actually fire more muscle fibers by doing static holds and isometric holds. So it's something you can throw in at the end of a strength session um, with like a rack pull. You don't even need to put any weight on the bar. You just have to block the bar from moving, right? Um, same thing with squatting, doing quarter squats, short squats, with the front squat, uh, front squat or back squat, where go down a quarter of the way and just hold the weight and then stand. I'm um, doing it close to one rep max loads or post one rep max loads. Um, can have a big benefit for your strength training and it's just another way that your body isn't used to moving a barbell or it's putting it under a load that it's not used to. So adaptations gained from there. Just wrapped up a uh, solid Wednesday training here. Um, we did the standard, which I finished right around 9, 10, 9, 12. So I was actually expecting to finish around 10 minutes. So I'm pretty happy. Uh, went hard, but definitely could go a little bit harder out the gate and then finish definitely harder on the snatches. So we we'll definitely want to get that down to the eight minute range at some point. Um, did some accessory movements for the midline. So GHBs and Tota Bar, high interference movements, uh, different movements, but both of them interfere with each other. A lot of midline being used there, trying, trying to develop some stamina in my midline. Um, and then finish with some static holds, something that I'm gonna try to incorporate more in my strength training with Olympic lifts. Like I said, one of the forgotten lifts, if you look up anything with Bill Starr from like the CrossFit Journal, um, definitely go there, take a read through his stuff. Brilliant man on strength and conditioning, learned a lot from reading all that, so it's a great resource. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time.